If you are an entrepreneur and you're trying to lose weight, should you be doing heat? You probably heard high intensity interval training. Is this the best way to actually lose weight? And is this going to help you lose more weight compared to steady state kind of low intensity cardio? That's what we're gonna cover in this video. But before we go there, click the subscribe button below because on this channel, you're gonna learn how to become probably less than 1% of the entrepreneurs who are not just successful, but also have an awesome looking, strong, high-performing body to go along with the business success. What's up everybody, this is Coach Amir from 7figurebody.com and in today's video we're gonna talk about high intensity interval training or heat. You probably heard that the whole world has been you know, going crazy about heat. This is the most effective, most efficient, the best type of training ever. So basically what are we talking about? Well, most people talk about uh, heat cardio usually. So it's like, you know, you do 30 to 60 seconds all out effort, whether it be running or outside or on a treadmill or maybe, you know, biking. Uh, or maybe on a stationary bike, but it's basically like high intensity effort, like really, really high, basically as, as high as you can do it. Let's say if you're sprinting, like all out sprint for maybe 30 seconds or 45, and then for like a minute or two, you rest by either walking or just kind of going very easily. And then repeating that maybe, you know, six to 10 times, let's say total that whole cycle. Right, so why is this supposed to be so uh, effective and so good? Well, most people say, well, this is very efficient. You're gonna burn you know, the same number of calories in 20 minutes compared to you know, 60 minutes of steady state cardio. And generally speaking, that's probably not true for most uh, practical, <laughs> you know, actual practical uh, examples of this in the real world, probably not true. Why? Simply because what you burn of the calories during those, you know, 30 seconds is, is definitely going to be higher, yes, than if you were running, you know, for 30 seconds at the lower pace, yes. However, if you think about it, let's say somebody's doing 30 seconds all out, you know, like sprints, for example. So for 30 seconds, what are they going to burn for 30 seconds? Minuscule number of calories. And let's say they do that 10 times. This, this is total of three minutes in high intensity exercise. And the rest is basically like either walking or very, very slow jogging in between compared to if somebody says, okay, I'm just going to do like 45 minutes or an hour, right? Of just steady state cardio. So if we talk about intensities, let's say intensities from one to 10, right? One is I'm sitting on a chair doing nothing. 10 is all out like maximum sprint like if lion is chasing you and you like literally are running for your life okay that's 10. let's say most people think that you should be at around eight to nine maybe with these high intensity intervals and let's say compared to that we do steady state cardio that's from one to ten it's like four or five okay it's like half or less okay so if you think about doing 30 minutes let's say total of this heat versus 60 minutes of steady state cardio i would say one thing is don't take my word for it just try it for yourself and you know use any kind of measuring calorie measuring device watch whatever it is and you will see that 99 percent of the times you will burn more calories by simply doing steady state cardio longer even if the intensity overall intensity seems to be low. Remember, when you are going all out for 30 seconds and then very, very slowly jogging or even walking for 60 seconds, when you take all of that together, the calorie burn is probably gonna be way lower. But let's assume, let's assume that in either case, it's the same exact number of calories. So high intensity interval training burns, let's say, you know, whatever, 400 calories or 500 calories in those 30 minutes, which by the way, nobody's ever gonna achieve that, but let's say 400 calories, whatever. And let's say one hour steady state cardio burns 400 calories too. In that case, it comes down to efficiency. Like, do you want to, uh, you know, generally speaking, do you want to have less time and burn the same number of calories in less time? In that case, sure, it could work. As I said, in real world, you're always gonna burn fewer calories doing heat. Okay, and that's when it comes to just calorie burn, okay? So it's totally up to you what you prefer. The other things to think about, the other factors that actually influence this are, number one, most important one, the main thing is gonna be the calorie burn from both of these types of cardio exercise are totally, for the most part, inefficient way of creating that calorie deficit 
and it's much better to focus on a diet. I've said this probably in every video that I've ever made, so you can check that uh, pretty much in any video that has to do with exercise and cardio that I talk about, but generally speaking, you do not exercise to lose weight, okay? You diet to lose weight and fat. You build, you go and lift weights to build muscle, and then you add a little bit of cardio sometimes if you want to have a little bit of, of extra, maybe 10, 20% extra of that, um, uh, you know, overall fat burn, meaning losing body fat, that's what cardio um, can be useful for if all other things are already in place. So first focus on your diet because your diet, focus on that is going to give you this much fat loss and weight loss results. And then cardio is going to give you this much. So if you want that much and you're like, okay, that little bit, you know, every little bit helps. I'm going to actually do cardio for that. Sure. But the other thing that almost nobody talks about when all of these people are like, oh, you know, just do heat. Heat is amazing. Heat is great. Heat is whatever. Well, here's the issue with that, that, that is probably in my mind the most important. As somebody who's approaching uh, 40, I can tell you that not getting injured is probably 100 times more important than anybody can ever think uh, that it is. And like give it importance of X and it's actually 100X. So, you already know what I'm going to say probably, high intensity exercise is extremely hard, uh, meaning, uh, well, first it's hard, so most people really, you know, are they going to push themselves, not, whatever, but the second thing is really, really high risk of injury. So if you have not been exercising or especially running or sprinting or whatever, you know, kind of high intensity cardio you want to do, if you have not been doing that for at least several months, if not, you know, maybe longer, I highly suggest not doing high intensity interval training because the chance of injury is extremely high. I can't tell you how many times somebody says, well, I decided to do heat and the first thing I did is I pulled my hamstring, you know, where the hamstring attaches to your uh, hip bone, basically just under your butt. That's the most common injury that I hear from people uh, who start doing heat when they're not ready for that. Uh, and also remember, it's pretty much just like, you know, if you have a car that is like a high performing car that's been sitting for five years in a garage, never turned on once, and it's all like dusty and everything is kind of like rusted and it's like, ah, uh, the car basically turns on and you're like, that's okay, I'm going to turn the engine on and take it straight to the track the first time. Guess what's going to happen? Well, sure, maybe it's going to survive, but very likely something's going to break. Something's going to just go bad. And very, very likely that that you know if you start doing that just out of the blue you're like okay i'm not exercising i'm not you know doing anything for the diet but all of a sudden i'm just going to do heat all the time which is what the fitness experts suggest but the issue here is that of what kind of shape you're in when you're just starting out so if somebody is highly trained they've been doing this for a long time you know fitness is their life and then they do heat well, awesome, but that's not the same as somebody who hasn't worked out in many, many months, maybe years, which happens to be the case for a lot of entrepreneurs. So if you are an entrepreneur who has not been uh, exercising for several months or years, I highly suggest not starting with heat because it's basically a recipe for injury. One of the two things can happen. Either you get injured, which is very likely, or you're like so dead and tired from that, that in your brain, you're like, man, this is so hard. If this is what it takes, I'm just going to quit, right? And again, it's not like you, you know, thoughtful process of like you're aware of it and you think that. No, it's just your subconscious says, this is so hard. If this is what it takes to get in shape, I just can't do something like that. So let me just quit and not do it, which a lot of people actually go through that same exact process when they start either cutting calories too much and starving themselves with wrong diet they just quit they're like hey if i gotta be starving myself to be in shape i just can't do that i can't be starving which by the way of course you do not have to do that okay or they you know do some kind of too hard exercise too quickly talk about us entrepreneurs like we tend to just overdo everything pretty much <laughs> right so somebody does it so hard either they're sore for like week after or in their brain, the input was so just hard and, and just suffering so much that they're like, man, if that's what it takes, I just don't want to do it. Much, much easier and better and higher chance of long-term success to just kind of ease into it. No, you don't have to do two workouts a day. Actually, it's much better to never do two workouts a day unless you're a professional athlete living from that sport. So, you know, the 75 hard program comes to mind. It's like, okay, you do nothing, no activity, sedentary person, now you're gonna do two workouts per day, you're gonna do this and this and drink a gallon of water and do these all things. It's just too much. 
probably good intention behind it, but it's completely, completely nonsensical. Like I would never ever suggest anybody do that, which is why out of a thousand people who try it, maybe one succeeds. Well, that means that the program sucks. Not that these 999 people don't have will, willpower or discipline. No, it just means that basically at the end of the day, the program was wrong. It was too hard. I would much rather make a program where 999 entrepreneurs do succeed by easing into it and then one doesn't, than the opposite, right? So that's basically my thoughts on uh, high intensity interval training. As you can see, I'm not a huge fan, especially in the beginning. Yes, there is a time and place for that. It can be more efficient, meaning you get potentially the same or maybe a little bit lower calorie expenditure from that in maybe 30 minutes than you do by doing 45 to 60 minutes of steady state cardio. But, and you know, sometimes that can be relevant. I understand how it is to be busy. I mean, you know, uh, and all of this. And in that case, sure, it may actually work for you. But please be aware that there is a higher chance of, in chance of injury, that most people can't really do it properly because they're not in shape yet to do it. So I'd much rather you start with lower intensity and then increase it over time. Uh, and at the end of the day, remember that all of the calorie expenditure from cardio, whether it be heat or steady state, unless you're doing huge amounts of it, which almost nobody real, will, really will, uh, the calorie expenditure of it pretty much is irrelevant in the big picture of things when it comes to losing weight. Your diet is the king for that. So guys, thank you for watching. If you like this video, please click the like button below. Also hit that notification bell. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to this channel. This is the one channel we're going to get the absolute no BS unfiltered, exactly how it is truth uh, that will truly help you lose weight and get in the best shape of your life. And more importantly than that, stay in that shape forever. That's our goal. So thanks for watching. See you next time.